Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we are bringing you another Lightboard lesson video. Today we're going to talk about a really powerful web traffic inspection solution that involves uh, technology from uh, F5 and Cisco. And as you may know, you know, 80 plus percent of all internet traffic is encrypted, and so you need something, you need some kind of solution to be able to inspect that traffic. Um, and so the question is, how do you do it? Well, a lot of times companies will do um, what I'll call a daisy chain scenario where they'll put different security devices um, you know, in line. So for example, you may have uh, employees here. So I'll just put employees. And then you'll have a variety of security devices. So maybe you have like a, you know, like a proxy device um, and then maybe you have like a data loss prevention, let's just say, let's say you've got a firewall, um, you know, whatever it is, and you may have a whole bunch of these things. Um, and then ultimately, you know, your employees are trying to get out to the internet. So I'll just put the internet out here, internet, and uh, of course put a cloud around that thing. And then maybe they're going to like a, say an Office 365. Uh, maybe they're coming here to YouTube to watch an awesome Lightboard lesson video, you know, whatever, right? Uh, so typically in this case, in this type of a scenario, the client or the employee in this case would establish a secure connection with the backend web application. So, you know, Office 365, YouTube, whatever it is. I mean, there's, a, there's a millions of them out there, right? So as this, as this happens, the, uh, you know, the traffic comes into the first um, security device, uh, in this case, say a proxy, and then this device would have to decrypt that traffic and then inspect the traffic and then re-encrypt the traffic and then send it on to the next one where that same you know, setup happens and then it goes to the next one and then finally out here to where they're finally out at their web application. Um, so this type of a scenario is, uh, is, is problematic for a couple of reasons. One, it, it adds a lot of latency. There's a lot of complexity with this. You have to manage these you know, daisy chains and all that different stuff. Uh, there's a cost of performance because you're having to decrypt and re-encrypt the traffic. And these devices um, are not really set up to be able to handle the, uh, the decryption and encryption of all, of all of that TLS uh, encrypted traffic. Um, also, if one of these things uh, can't handle the security suite that's negotiated between client and backend server uh, back here, web application, uh, then a lot of times it'll just fall out of the chain and it won't even do anything. Uh, so then you lose the, the security feature of what that device offers, or depending on how this thing's set up, if that thing can't handle it, then everything forward of that, uh, also the chain just breaks basically. So, you know, there's all these different security devices that just are not doing anything. And so that's not a, that's not a good solution either because you still need to inspect this traffic. Um, so there's a better way to do this. F5 has a really cool uh, technology. It's called the SSL Orchestrator. And the SSL Orchestrator is a central um, point where traffic can be decrypted and encrypted and managed and then um, and then routed to different security devices that are then connected to the SSL orchestrator. So, you know, you've still got your security devices here. Uh, one of them, by the way, that we'll talk about in more detail is the Cisco WSA. It's a really powerful proxy device, uh, but you would still have your DLP, uh, you'd still have your firewall, you'd still have, you know, I mean, you could have a bunch of these different things, right? Um, but on the SSL Orchestrator specifically, uh, this, this device um, will classify traffic as it comes into it. So you still have employees out here uh, who are still looking to get to the internet over here, right? And they're still wanting to get to that awesome, you know, PowerPoint presentation or, you know, that awesome YouTube video or whatever it is that they're going to, right? So what happens, the, the SSL, SSL orchestrator is a full proxy architecture. So the client request comes into the SSL orchestrator, it is encrypted, and then the SSL orchestrator will decrypt that traffic. So it establishes a complete connection with the client, and then it does what it does with the security devices, and then it will re-encrypt the traffic and establish a connection back here with these backend servers. So a uh, really cool um, feature that the SSL orchestrator has. As traffic comes into this device, it is, uh, it's classified, like I mentioned, and it's classified based on a number of different features of the traffic itself, like IP address, source and destination IP address, 
uh, port number, domain name that's in play here, URL category, the protocol that's used. It's not just HTTP traffic that this thing can handle. Um, so there's a lot of different things that it will look at in order to classify the traffic. And then based on that classification, it will route that traffic to one or more or all or none of the security devices based on the policies that you set here on the SSL orchestrator. So really powerful device. Um, let's say, for example, one of the websites that you're looking to go to is like, protected by some kind of, you know, healthcare HIPAA regulation, or maybe there's like a government or, or bank uh, law that says, hey, you can't inspect this specific traffic. This thing will know that based on the classification that it does, and then based on the policies that you set up. And, and in that case, it gets for the traffic on through without bothering any of the security devices. Um, the SL orchestrator can be set up as a layer two device, so like a bump in the wire or layer three routed device as well. So there's a lot of different functionality that the SL orchestrator uh, provides. And um, so anyway, wanted to talk about the Cisco um, WSA, the Web Security Appliance. I mentioned this is a really powerful proxy device, um, and it does a lot of uh, a lot of really really cool things with uh, user authentication. Um, those types of things. It's got advanced malware protection built into it. It's, it's got cognitive threat analytics. Uh, it does application visibility and control. It looks at file reputation. Uh, I mentioned acceptable use policies that it can perform as well. So this is a really, really powerful proxy device. Uh, I mentioned a second ago the SSL orchestrator also can act as a proxy. Uh, the Cisco WSA it, that's what it specializes in, right? The SSL orchestrator <coughs> uh, is, has custom-built hardware that can handle all the, SS, or the SSL and uh, TLS offload, all that encryption and decryption. These devices down here probably can handle SSL offload as well, uh, but they're not custom-built for that, and there's a performance price to be paid for that. So just to give you a quick run-through of a, of a typical you know, user request or, a, you know, say, an HTTP request, uh, the client will send a request in. It will be encrypted into the SSL orchestrator where it's decrypted here based on the, the uh, cipher suites that this offers and that are negotiated here. And then um, let's say in this specific case, uh, this traffic based on the policy here needs to be routed to all these different devices. It will be, it will be encrypted uh, into the SSL orchestrator, decrypted here where it will be sent down to this device, inspected, sent back, over, sent down to this device, back, over to this device, back. Uh, if any of these things need to take action, of course they can. Um, and then finally, when all of these are done, then the traffic is re-encrypted and then sent out to the backend web application. Um, so I guess one of the uh, one of the overall points to make here is that the SSL orchestrator does all of the really heavy lifting when it comes to TLS SSL offload, and the Cisco uh, WSA does a lot of really, really cool and powerful proxy work. So let the proxy do the proxy, let the SSL offload uh, happen here on the SSL orchestrator. Um, and so one other thing that I would mention about the SSL orchestrator is that it can monitor all these devices and know if they're up or down or whatever. Uh, let's say you have uh, a bunch of these Cisco WSAs or you know maybe you've got a bunch of these as well, whatever. Um, then the SSL orchestrator can know, hey, one of these is down or up or whatever, or maybe they're maybe it's bogged, maybe one of these is bogged down, the others are good to go. Um, and so it can have this constant monitoring to know the status of each of these devices. And it can also load balance across these devices. Uh, so rather than having to have an active standby scenario, you can just use all of them now because the SSL orchestrator will load balance across all of them. Um, and then one other thing I would mention too on SSL Orchestrator is that it provides a, a, a nice suite of cipher suites or a nice variety of cipher suites. Uh, so if you're worried about like TLS 1.3 or perfect forward secrecy, that kind of thing, this will, this will handle that problem because the, uh, the traffic is, is uh, encrypted once here and then routed to all these devices and then back. So the, the, the diversity of cipher suites that this offers is very powerful as well. Um, so as we know, network traffic is always growing out there on the internet today. Uh, the cost associated with decrypting and encrypting and all that is very expensive. And so, you know, let the SSL orchestrator do that part. Let the proxy do the proxy work that it does so well. If, uh, if you want to know more about this solution and how to implement this, uh, there's a technical overview and a deployment guide that we can link to here. Um, and you can check those out, read those for yourselves. And hey, uh, I appreciate you hanging in there and watching this Lightboard lesson video with us. If you like this thing, you can click up here on our DC logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.